in the building accidentally hit that live button way too fast and now we live on youtube it's like forget forget it i'm gonna just run with it i ain't even gonna stop it but what's up with you guys it is your boy west coast we live in the building let me go ahead and get up on uh on uh on you on facebook and then we're gonna get this go thing going a hey, cowboys just released and um, defensive tackle antoine woods um, I want to know how you guys feel about that in the comment box. Uh, what's your thoughts? What are your thoughts? I want to know what are your thoughts? Put it in the comment box right now. I want to know you guys, what's your initial thoughts? What's your, what's your initial thoughts? Um, let me try to get up on a uh, boom. I'm live on Facebook now. All right, let me get up on uh, Instagram real quick. Y'all know how we do. Y'all know how we do. Let me add that business up in there. Shiga ding. Shiga ding. All right, what's up with you, my boy? What's up with you guys? Um, hey, man, I'm going to let everybody, I'm going to let everybody have to put their opinion in, the, in, the, in there. I'm going to let everybody put their opinion in there. And then I'll give you guys my opinion and I'll let you guys know what I think is going to happen next. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for anybody that wants to talk about defensive tackle stats, bro, I'm not going to entertain that. Defensive tackles really don't even get stats because they're 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 lane cloggers. So you're not going to find a lot of defensive tackles unless he's Aaron Donald. You know what I'm saying? The only defensive tackle I know in the NFL that gets a whole lot of sacks is Aaron Donald. Defensive tackles are not judged off of off of uh um, defensive tackles are not judged off of their uh, off of their tack off of um, off of sacks. You know what I'm saying? So let's get up in here and talk about it though. So yo, um, hey, so keep it real with you guys. So this is what happened today. The Dallas Cowboys decided that Antoine that the, they released Antoine Woods, and because of them release him, he will now go what's what's called waivers. Uh, he was go. He will now go. What's called re waivers? Why? Because he was a restricted. Re he was a restricted free agent when he was released. You know what I'm saying? So since he was released, he will go on waivers. Hey, I need everybody before we get this thing started. Y'all already know how we do it, man. Uh, I need everybody to hit that share button and hit that star button. Everybody, go hit that share button. Hit that star button. I'll do the SS and go through this real quick. Hey, I don't want to be look on here and be like. He says the live tab, the live tab will soon be removed from the deck. Please go to the live. Oh, okay, I don't need that. All right, so we, oh, let's go. So let, before we get in this, let's do what we supposed to do. And let's let's uh, give some shout outs to some people in the comment box. Make sure everybody's hitting that share button. I got six shares right now. Some of y'all up in here still in the church's business, the church's air condition. Knock it off. You know what I'm saying? Don't be that cowboy fan. You know what I'm saying? Before you hit that, before you start putting your comments, hit that share button. What's up with you, Adriana? What's up with you, six? Sis, can I get a share button? Can hit that uh, star button? Appreciate you. What's up with you, Jason? Kendrick, my boy, Dylan. What's up with you, Bean? Ben Garcia, <clears throat> Tracy. <clears throat> hey, man, you guys know you want to complain about it. And you guys know some of y'all want to make fun of it. So if you want to have that ability, you know you got to hit that star button. So don't play me. Hey, that's what's up. I can take this hot sweat shirt off. I was I was up here like, bro, do I got another cowboy shirt on in here? I had to, I had to look real quick. I had to look real quick, you know what I'm saying? I had to look and make sure I had another cowboy shirt on because it's getting hot up in this go ride. I know it looked like uh, when I be on my live show, I'll be looking all professional, but that's a green screen. This ain't this is a this is really a go ride. You know what I'm saying? It's a three-car garage, but it's still a go, it's still a go ride. So it get hot up in here. What's up, Kendris? What up with you, Doug? Heroes Palace. What's up with you? Uh Michael Paul Powell. What's up with you? D Money the host. Dwayne, my boy Jeffrey Chandler, what's up with you? If you haven't already, hit that share button, hit that star button. Christopher, what's up with you? Kendrick, what's up with you? Uh, what else we have? Ryle Garcia, Mac Jones, Drew uh, Kirk, Kermick, what's up with you? Um, who else we got over here? We got Mike Williams, what's up with you? We got Juan Pardee, Pardo over here, what's up with you? Trevor Bryant, what's up with you? Steve, big dog Steve, what's up with you? What's up with you, Wayne? Hey, I appreciate everybody hitting that share button. I, and make sure you guys, hey, on YouTube, I need everybody to go hit that star button. I mean, on super chat button and hit that share button. On YouTube, let me tell you who I got over here. I got Diesel Dave over here. I got Manny over here. I got TA. I got Cowboys fan. I got Curtis Herbert. I got Tamira over there. I got Auntie Charlene. What's up with you? I got Sean Smith. I got Curtis over here. I got Tatra. 
I got Tamir. What's up with Tamir? CD Lamb, I got over there. Lil Baby, what's up with you, Star Breezy? What's up with you, my guy? Um, I got uh co wait, uh Coctua. What's over there? I see you over there. Everybody that's rocking. Um, my boy Drew, what's up? Good, good with you, my boy Drew. Miko, what's up with you? Mike Frost, Brenda, I see you over there, Auntie Brenda, Mac, Jacob Bond, what's up with you? Um, all right, let's go through everybody that's on Instagram real quick. He says, I hope you're doing well. I'm selling. I'm selling. I have got a product for you. Would like to write a review on a product. I'm going to give you return and keep it for real. All right. In, hit my inbox, man. Hey, any promotion, I, any promotion opportunities, hit my inbox, man. Just hit my inbox. You even, don't even put it in the comment. Just hit my inbox. I got five kids, bro. So I'm open for anything that's going to legitimately put some money in my pocket. You dig? You know what I'm saying? Hit my inbox, though. We can talk about it. Get your lawyer on the phone. You know, I get my lawyer on the phone. We can talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's up with you? Uh, let me check. Go for it. What up, Sneaker King? Um, what's up with you, uh, my Caesar? What's up with you, Irvin? East Coast Cowboy, what's up with you? Uh, that's my boy, Curtis. Thrill, what's up with you? Uh, Bannerish, what's up with you? Irvin, Snuff Dog, Rue Rue, Glenn Ray, what's up with you? Man, y'all got them crazy names on Instagram. Y'all know I can't do it, man. If you want me to say your name on Instagram, put the name. Put your put your homie name. Put your homie love name. Put the name on there that you uh, – put your name on there that uh, – that your mama call you, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all be putting, let me get something to give away real quick because we about to hit that star real quick. Hey, put that name that your mama gave you on there. Put a name on there that, that your homeboy gave on there. Just put a name that I can read, goddammit. Yeah, I got these crazy names on here. Yeah, I got these crazy freaking names, bruh. I need everybody to hit that star button. Everybody hit that, 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 I need everybody hit that star button and everybody hit that, that uh that share button. All right, okay, so this is what we doing. This is what we doing. I'm out. Of, I don't have. I would give away an Antoine Woods thing today, but I'm out. So this is what I'm doing. So top star givers getting this over large. It's a little bit bigger picture. You guys know I'm an official uh, broker sponsor of CEV Collection. My boy Jalen Smith just hit me with a bunch of new autograph stuff. You know what I'm saying? This is my dog. So top star givers going home. This is the CEV edition. It got the CEV logo right there. My boy Jalen signed it. Top Star Gear is going home with this today, man. All right. So let's get it popping. I'll show it again in a minute. I got my Hot Boy hat on right now, but you guys already know it's still running the damn ball. I need to put my black one on, right? Put my black hat on. All right. So it's, it's still, it's still, it's running the damn ball. Y'all know what it is. But then, you know, because it's my Hot Boy brother got released today, I'm going to rock that Hot Boy. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, so let's go. Let's talk about Antoine Woods getting released and what are my thoughts on Antoine Woods getting released. Uh, these are my thoughts on Antoine Woods getting released by the Dallas Cowboys. Unfortunately, I think for the Cowboys, it was a little un and it was a little expected. You want to know why? Because LVE didn't get his money either. Technically, you remember LVE didn't get his fifth year option either. So I would believe that anybody right now that has like money hanging over their heads, probably not going to get it until the Dallas Cowboys find out what's going to happen with this salary cap. You know what I'm saying? I think once that gets finalized, you'll see more moves like maybe LVE get a job. I mean, get his get a get a check. And then honestly, I could actually even see the Dallas Cowboys bringing back Antoine Woods. The reason why I say this is because this is what happened, you guys. This is what happened, right? Last year, because of, last year because of his restricted free agent, um, his 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 free, restricted free agent tier, he was got he was on a two year deal for $1.5 million, right, over the last two years, right? That was a base salary of $525,000. Now, because of his restricted free agency, the Dallas Cowboys had to tender Antoine Woods out at $2.1 million. So Antoine Woods went from last year where he was injured, and this is real. And y'all know I keeps it all the way real, no matter if I'm talking about the homies, no matter if I'm talking about anybody. The only person I'm gonna lie about is my kid is my wife. My wife asked me, do this make me look fat? No, because you look good. You know what I'm saying? My kids say, why we got to go to bed? Because you got to go to school tomorrow, even if it's a Friday night. You know what I'm saying? The only people, I'm a, that's the only people. Y'all, I'm going to keep it all the way 100 with you. You know what I'm saying? What I honestly believe, what I honestly believe is this. The Dallas Cowboys looked at Antoine Woods, not even production. I believe that the Dallas Cowboys looked at, looked at Antoine Woods, the time that he played last year versus right now, and be honest with you, you couldn't give him a default raise because that's what the tender was. Because he went from making $540,000 to 
to literally making $2.1 million. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, anybody saying he's been on the decline? No, he hasn't been. He was injured. He tore it, man. He got hurt two years in a row, both years, both years since then. The year at the very year after the Seattle Seahawks game, he messed up his ankle and missed nine games. And then last year, he messed up the other ankle and missed like seven games. So there hasn't been a decline. What you guys have noticed, I'm going to be honest with you guys, and this is real. When you go to a smaller, cheaper defense, you know what happens? You get casualties. And I'm going to be honest with you, when you go to a smaller defensive line, guess what happens? You get injuries. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, our injuries have been through the roof. You know what I'm saying? And that's what happens when you're not investing in quality size up front. That's why your linebackers don't stay healthy. That's why your defensive tackles don't stay healthy. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a all-around issue with the Dallas Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? But, like I was saying, at one year, $2.1 million, I don't see how the Cowboys were going to let that contract ride. Right. Especially if LVE didn't even get his fifth year option. The Cowboys are not necessarily in panic mode, but they're in I don't know mode. And when you're in I don't know mode, you don't make fun. You don't make financial decisions. And what do you know? What you do? You wait. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I can. This is what's going to happen with Antoine Woods. He's going to go into the waiver process. He's going to go into the waiver process. There's 31 teams. There are 31 teams that are going to have to go through. The, they're going to 31 teams that are going to have an opportunity to pick him up and put him on a team. If nobody picks him up, then he will be a he will be an unrestricted free agent, meaning he will be able to play wherever he wants to play. You know what I'm saying? Now, what I honestly believe could happen, because the Dallas Cowboys got a lot of love for Antoine Woods, because think about this. They had enough love for him to give him their tender at the beginning in the first place. You know what I'm saying? So think about this. At the beginning of free agent, they were actually concerned with losing Antoine Woods. That's why they gave him the tender to begin with. Because they could have just not offered him the tender. They could have just let him walk. But they didn't. They offered him the tender so that they can have him under contract through free agency. Which is a little shady, but it's like... Like, they basically gave Antoine Woods the tender in free agency so that they could have him under contract through free agency so there would not be a chance for a team to pick him up then you release him after the draft where most teams are already were already overmanned anyway knowing that there's a really good chance we're knowing that there's a really good chance knowing that there's a really good chance that he won't get that he will pass waivers and you'll be able to get him back you know what i'm saying so the dallas cowboys this is my thing man at the end of the day man I think the Dallas Cowboys got what they were looking for out of Antoine Woods. Do I think there's an opportunity that they bring him back? I believe they can bring, I, I believe that there, there's an opportunity they might bring him back. But I'm going to be honest with you. you. We will have to see. We'll have to see going forward. Do I think that this, um, do I think that this is a, is a release so that you can bring somebody else on the team? No, I don't. No, I don't. I know a lot of you guys are saying, oh, this means that we're going to go do, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. This doesn't mean anything. This doesn't mean anything. The only thing this means is that the Dallas Cowboys now don't have, are not responsible for paying Antoine Woods $2.1 million. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And if he passes waivers, I can almost, man, I, can, I ain't going to say I can almost guarantee. I'm not going to put it out there like that. But I can almost guarantee you if Antoine Woods passes waivers, he's going to be back in the Dallas Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? I just don't think the Cowboys wanted to pay him $2.1 million this year. And I think this was a situation where, and this is my thing, like, I know some of you guys will always do it because you just don't understand how it works in football. But some of you guys will hold injuries against him or against players in general. But you can't hold injuries against someone unless you believe they're out there purposely getting hurt. So when they are healthy, you look at them as a healthy player. This is not a guy that the Dallas Cowboys were about to you know what I'm saying? Like, this was not a guy that the Dallas Cowboys was about to give some five, six year contract in the first place. So, unfortunately, those guys are extendable. And this is the homie I'm talking about. Like, this is the homie. Whenever I love when I hear my players are casual or salary cap casualties, because that lets you know that the only reason why they cut him was because of the what? Salary cap. So, if the calorie cap improves, guess what? He would be on a list of players that the Cowboys want to bring back. Now, do I believe the Cowboys would bring him back or give the opportunity to bring him back? Yes, I do believe they will. I just don't believe they wanted to pay him $2.1 million. And releasing him is the only way you can get out of not paying him the $2.1 million. 
You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, man, Antoine Woods, he's a he's a he's been a he's been a crowd pleaser for a long time. I mean, this is my thing. This is my thing, man. If if you love guys doing it the right way and you love guys giving you and being that cowboy and actually personifying the helmet, bro, you have nothing that negative to say about Antoine Woods because, bro, when he was healthy, bro, he balled. Like my dude balled, bro. Like I know you ca I know some cowboy fans. I mean, there's just like there's just some snooty ass cowboy fans that believe that they can be normal disciples, but everybody else that plays football has to be Jesus. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They 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 couldn't even make the team, but they be the faint the first ones to try to compare talk about someone's can intensity. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it, it like cowboy fans, like y'all amaze me sometimes because when you do find guys who do do it the cowboy way, man, y'all run them through the mud, man. Like y'all run them through the mud. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you run them through the mud. Like, I'm just keeping it real with you, man. Antoine Woods brought an attitude to the Dallas Cowboys when he slapped the crap out of Travis Frederick. When Travis Frederick told Antoine Woods as a nobody, Antoine Woods was number wearing number 67 then. And they, when Ant, when Travis Frederick slapped, Ant, when he, well, actually, Travis Frederick told him, basically, I'll kick your ass. That's what Travis Frederick said. And Antoine continued off on him. When he did that, man, it brought a different attitude and mindset to the Dallas Cowboys, man. And guess what? That is what the representation of them hot boys, man. So, you know, this is, I, you know, no matter what, no matter what, I hope my dude have a good career and I hope he gets, I believe he will get picked up from somewhere. I just don't think somebody's going to give him at 28 and only playing 11, I think it was like nine games last year. I don't think nobody's going to give him $2.1 million. And it was like a raise by default. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know Jerry Jones don't like being made to do anything. You know what I'm saying? So do I could I see him coming back? Yes, I could definitely see Antoine Woods coming back. You know what I'm saying? But he has to clear waivers now. Uh, my boy says, I don't believe that I think the injuries are part of the game and blaming the trainers is that Jerry spends money so I can expand in our training staff. His facility is top notch. Yeah, man. This is the thing, man. This is the thing. Like, you know, hold up real quick. Sorry about that. I had a player inbox me. However, hey, give me one second. If he clears waivers, hey Instagram, y'all just went down. Sorry about that. I'm about to get back up right now, though. You know, I'm talking about how to how to have a conversation, how to how to how to do a tweet real quick. Discard. Hold up. Let me go live. Let me go live. And then my, where my live at? Where my live at? Turn this on. Boom. Go live. What the heck? Hey, man, give me one second. My boy said, I'm loving the new defensive players from free agency and draft. Yeah, I like them too, but man, don't get, hey man, don't start, like, listen, man, some of y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, man, as soon as y'all get on, as soon as a player, how y'all loving someone you don't even know? Like, come on, man, like, I'm going to tell y'all, man, don't, like, some of y'all, as soon as someone become a, a Dallas Cowboy, y'all instantly start jumping on their nuts and start licking on their baby nuts. Like, come on, man, y'all knock it off. Love is such a big word. If you understand, if you talking about you love a player that you ain't ever even seen play in the star, bro, come on, knock it off, bro. Like, Cowboys, we got to start making these dudes earn this stuff, bruh. Like, man, I'm going to keep it real with you, man. Like, today is just going to be a, a day of just stupidity, bruh. I already know it. Today is going to be a day of stupidity. I'm going to tell you why it's going to be a day of stupidity, because I'm about to have 95 inboxes. Oh, watch. Hey, do you think that, do you think that the kid from Kentucky, see, we released him because the guy from Kentucky said that, oh, that he, it's going to be no more running in Dallas. What's up, Jay Lynch? Like, bro, this is about, I hate when stuff like this happens, when Cowboys do, I mean, this is actually a, financially, the Cowboys are looking at this from a financial standpoint. 
Like this was about financials. If this was about his performance, he would have been released last month. If this was about Antoine Woods' play, he would have been released last month. This has nothing to do with his play. This has to do with the Dallas Cowboys after the draft looking at the exact same thing they're looking at LVE and saying, hey, man, um, I don't know if we're going to have the funds. So for anybody that want to talk about, oh, if this is about he declined, man, if, if he declined, if the Cowboys felt that he was not worthy of it, why did they give him the $2.1 million um, um, the tenor to begin with? The reason why they gave him the tender to begin with is because Jerry wanted to make sure that they didn't lose Antoine Woods in free agency. That's why they gave him the, the tender. But see, I be talking on this level sometimes. And if like if you a business owner, if you do stocks and trading, if you do that type of stuff, you can sometimes you can really relate to some of the stuff I'm saying. But if you just a sorry ass employee that come to work and barely do your job, then guess what? Some of the stuff I say going to go over your head. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of this stuff is business related. Like, fam, when you're releasing someone in May, it has nothing to do with performance. Nothing. Guys who did not earn their money, Xavier Woods, they were off this team before the draft. You want to know why? Because you want to make sure that you can replace them in the draft. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So let's not, let's not, I mean, and I'm going to tell you this. Antoine Woods my homie, man. So anybody saying some dumb shit, I'm telling you right now, I'm blocking you immediately. On my mama. And I'm, you can say I'm out of line for it. I don't care. My phone bill was $412 this month. Hell you mean. And that was on the low end. See, that's the thing about me, bro. I'm not paying my phone bill and letting you sit on my phone and talk crap to me. Hell no. You can't come to my house and say crazy. Bro, I don't give a damn if my, mom, if my wife cooked, if she if she burnt the chicken. You're going to say it tastes good. I'm in my house, you is. Hell you mean. You know what I'm saying? My phone bill too high to be on here letting you say whatever you want to say. That's on my mama, you know what I'm saying? You better let them know, Sturdy. Sturdy, you better let them know, fam. You better let them know, Sturdy. Nobody trying to hear that, fam. Better take that stuff somewhere else on my mama. But think about this. Tristan Hill, Antoine Woods. Who's better? Antoine Woods. Okay. Um, Don Terry Poe, Antoine Woods. Who's better? Antoine Woods. My boy said he's effing dumb. Hey, you know what, my dude? It, you know, I got grown men that don't get attention to women, so they come on the live shows and say random stuff so they can get a, attention from women. I just told someone they're going to say some stupid stuff, they're going to get blocked, and exactly what they do. Bro, you're a woman, bro. You're a woman, bro. You're a woman wearing a shirt with your breast out so you can get attention, so you can go home and get on IG and talk about how men are so bad because all they do is cat call you all day. Bro, I gave you your attention that you wanted. Now go back to being a man. You feel me? Like, man, I'm, I'm disappointed in some of these men. Some of you men get on social media and turn into straight women. And I ain't talking about women as a, as a disrespectful way because some of these cowboy women ride harder than y'all. Oh, my mama, for real. Like, I wish I could just do a show. It's only the cowboy women. It'd be the smartest show in America. I'd probably get way more content out, too, because women don't interrupt. They just be, you feel me? I'd probably come away and learn something. You know what I'm saying? Get on here with a bunch of dudes and we just be arguing back and forth. You feel me? Salute to the cowboy women that know what the hell they talking about out there. Salute to the cowboy women bossing back. Bossing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Stop acting like a woman, bruh. Antoine would suck ass. Yeah, you said you were saying that last week. No, you wasn't saying that last week. <laughs> no, you was not saying that last week. Stop acting like a woman. Hey, you gotta be a you gotta be a sorry ass dude to kick a person when they down, even though you was just loving them last week. Like you feel me? Like a lot of people gonna show their real nature and how they are. Like I'm gonna tell you, anybody that dog Antoine Woods, unfriend them, unblocked ass. You wanna know why? Because they gonna do the exact same thing to you on your worst day. Hell, you mean? You think you think because they they because they talk crap about cowboys, they gonna stop at you? Did you see what they did to Jesus? They put him on a cross. And he was innocent. What you think they gonna do to you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My boy said, my boy, said, yeah, I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. 
I I, I be care. I, I I don't I don't associate with people like that that kick a man. You know what I'm saying I don't I don't associate with folks like that. You feel me? I don't even folks. I don't rock with folks like that. I gotta open this. I gotta turn the air on. Hold up, real quick. I'm too real, man. I'm too real to rock with folks like that, bro. Like I, I'm too real. I'm too real, bro. I'm too real. I'm too real to rock with folks like that. I can't rock with you, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. So yo. So yeah. So that's what I think is happening. Um, this is the thing. Also, you gotta say it like this. Antoine Woods has not been. Has even. Has not even has not even been in training camp with these other guys to know if these other guys are better. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, that's why I tell people like right now, the Dallas Cowboys are making moves solely based off of finances. LVE. I told y'all, I said, I think the Cowboys, the whole time I told you about LVE, what did I say? I said, bro, I think the Cowboys want to keep LVE. Like I, like I, you know what I'm saying? I think the Cowboys want to keep him. I just don't think the Cowboys know how much money they're going to have to keep him. You know what I'm saying? Hey, don't worry. I'm about, I'm about to block this dude. He's a he's he's obviously not getting the attention that he wants, man. Hey, shout out to all the men that need attention, fam. Like you feel me? Grown ass man, bro. Grown ass man. You know what I'm saying? He says you. He, he says hey, your everyone has their own opinion. No, everybody. I don't give a damn about everybody having their own opinion because your opinion doesn't matter when you're wrong. See, that's the thing with America. Everybody feels that they have the right to have an opinion. No, you don't. No, you have an opinion. You have a right to your opinion on your show, on your phone. You feel me? On my show, on my phone, bro, we're talking in the direction I'm going to. You don't like that? Don't watch. It's a fact. <laughs> like, I, you have a right to your opinion, but you do not have a right to express it, and I damn sure ain't got to listen to it. See, that's the thing. That's the issue with a lot of folks that they feel that, right? But like I was saying, Dallas Cowboys move on from Antoine Woods. Any the same thing I said about LVE. Everything that is happening right now in Dallas Cowboy is based off of finances. These are not moves that are based off of production. Moves that are made based off production are made in April. Not in April. They're made in March and in January. You know what I'm saying? Once the season is over, those are the players that they sit down with. Because I'm going to tell you this right now. And once the season is over, every single Dallas Cowboy player sits down with a coach, with Jerry Jones, and they discuss their role going forward. If they don't believe they're going to have a role, you know what they do? They let them know right then. You know what I'm saying? Byron Jones. Everybody was wondering, oh, my God, why didn't they even offer Byron Jones a contract? Guess what? Byron Jones knew he wasn't getting a contract because at his end of the year, they talk about those types of things. Now, this is what I believe the Cowboys feel about Antoine Woods. The very day that they had an, an opportunity to give him his option, guess what they did? They gave it to him. They gave it to him. Now, I want to let you guys know something. If the Cowboys did not feel like Antoine Woods was worthy of having on this team at a number, whatever number that is, they would not have given him the uh, They would not have tendered him. If the Cowboys just felt on a production base, they did not like what they got from Antoine Woods, they would have did the exact same thing they did with Xavier Woods. You know what that is? Bye. <laughs> say hello. Why you say bye? You know what I'm saying? Joe Thomas, the Dallas Cowboys, we didn't offer Joe Thomas any of that. You know what I'm saying? But there's a reason why the Dallas Cowboys tendered him and kept him all the way through free agency and the draft. Because guess what? Now Antoine goes on waivers, and bro, every team is already stacked. Like, my question is this, like, in, like I'm looking at this situation, like, if I was Antoine Woods, I'd be kind of pissed. Like, why y'all didn't release me in, fe in February? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, if I'm Antoine Woods, I'm like, why didn't y'all release me in February? What up with you, D5? I see you, man. Hey, me and my boy D5, me and we him always disagree, but that dude put out some good content. That's 100. I can't say I don't, I couldn't, you know what I mean? You got to keep it 100 when you got to keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't like, I don't like, uh, who's, I'm not saying I don't like D5, but I'm going to say Stephen A. Smith. I don't like Stephen A. Smith personally, but his basketball content is good, bro. Like, he puts out good content. You may not like what he does about the Cowboys, but you can't defy, you can't deny that the dude does his job. Like, he does his job. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, so shout out to my dude over there. Um, 
So that's what I'm saying. And, and to keep it real with you, that's how I think the Cowboys feel about LVE. Because this is this is the thing, right? Jerry Jones has showed that the things that he believes in, he he either waits out. Because look at this, look at this, right? Jerry Jones handles LVE the exact same way he handles Dak Prescott. And guess what? For two and a half years, folks were saying, Jerry don't like LVE. He don't like LVE. He don't like Dak. He don't like Dak. He don't like Dak. No, he liked Dak. He just want to get a better price. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of this stuff with the Cowboys comes down to price. Why you guys think in Stephen Jones' press conference about the draft, Stephen Jones makes this statement that just did not sit right with me. I'm just being all the way real with you. The statement did not sit right with me. He says a lot of these guys are going to, with the way the cap is structured and set up, I would preclude that a lot of these guys are going to make the team. Like, I know some of y'all that just went like right over your head, but someone that's been, cause see, I didn't believe some of Jerry's lies. So I'm, you know, I didn't, you know, Jerry didn't lie to me and I didn't believe some, you know what I'm saying? I'm a recovering Jerry liar. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm recovering from some of the stuff that he didn't lie to me about still to this day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so when Jerry lie, I'd be like, or when C say stuff, I'd be like, hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, a reco recovering addict from Jerry Jones's lies and his nonsense, nonsense it kind of keeps me, kind of keeps me on my toes, kind of keeps me on my toes. And that's why I'm telling you guys right now, any decision that the Cowboys are doing right now in the month of May are 100% money based. It's finances, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's finances. He says, despite what others say, we did a great draft. You cannot go wrong with 11 picks. This is my thing on the draft picks, right? If you don't know, if you don't like a pick, I can almost guarantee it's because you don't know the pick. Can we agree on that? Can we all agree that the players that you know and that you've heard a lot about, you have a higher confidence about those players, right? Let me give you an example. We have a rule in my house on Tuesday nights, on Wednesday nights, my wife cannot cook anything new. No experiments. You want to know why? Because on Tuesday nights, and that's Tuesday and Thursday, Tuesday nights and Thursday nights, West Coast goes to rehab for my knee. You know what I'm saying? I tore my Achilles. You know what I'm saying? And when I get home, my kids, all my kids, me, it's me. My hey, this some hey, this some thousand star game too. I'm hitting y'all. Hey, somebody gonna hit that star button a thousand times because this some thousand star game, man. I'm hitting y'all with some thousand star game right now. You know what I'm saying? This some thousand star game. You uh, Instagram, uh, I'm getting this some thousand star game right now, right? On Tuesdays and Thursdays, my wife don't cook new stuff. She cooks something that she know for a fact we gonna like. You wanna know why? Because on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I go get my butt kicked by this trainer. And when I come home, I am extremely exhausted. And not only am I exhausted, I am ridiculously hungry. Hey, they don't let you send 50 stars no more. So, you know, save it up and send 100. You feel me? They don't let you send 50 stars no more. Because um, I am extremely hungry. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And, and guess what? On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I need something that is going to hit period. See, if you've been married longer than five years, you can have it set up like that. If you ain't been married longer than five, don't come at your lady trying to say stuff like that. She's going, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I, we've been in the game a long time now, so I can I can make special persuasions and special stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I can do special stuff like that. But, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't been with your lady long enough, don't be trying the stuff West Coast do. On your lady may not work. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I tell my lady on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I want for show. Sure. I want a for show meal that was for show going like, and she tear it up every time. You know what I'm saying? Because, bro, when I get home from that, I am ridiculously tired, and I want to go with what I know. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I think in situations like this. That's what I think the Dallas Cowboys financially. And to be honest with you, you got to see it like this, man. At when training camp happens, you're going to know all these guys who really can play and all of these guys who couldn't play. See, last year, there was this thing called training camp that didn't happen. See, since last year, so we didn't have training camp. Guess what happened? We had to wait five weeks to find out that Don Terry Poe was a fat SOB. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, maybe I have SOB. No, I didn't mean to say that. I don't want to say fat slob. I mean, I mean to say slob, not SOB. 
fat slob. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we would have had training camp, we would have knew. If we would have had preseason, bruh, two, four, 47 minutes in the training camp, we would have been like, what the? F-? <laughs> like, think about this. If Mike McCarthy would have let us see the group blue and white game instead of covering it, Instead of instead of not letting nobody see it, guess what? We would have been watching the game and would have been like, wait, time out. The 3-4 is not going to work right now. And who in the hell is, whose uncle is down there playing defensive tackle? Like, who big uncle is down there? Like, Don Terry, this is how he's playing defensive tackle. They say, this is this, this Don Terry Poe, right? Ready, set, hike. Odell, wait, remember, remember, wait, wait, wait. Here go Odell. It's him running. You gonna get him? You gonna get him? Oh, you gonna get him? Okay. You gonna get him? Okay, I'm just sit right here. Hey, if y'all need help, let me know. Like if 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 if, if Mike McCarthy would have let us see that damn scrimmage, bro, we would have. I would have been. Bruh, listen to me. Y'all know how I be on film. If Mike McCarthy would have let us watch that scrimmage, half the stuff that we went through last year, I would have saw it. Like, look, this is my thing. Four, three, three, four ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. Don Terry Poe got to lose some weight. <laughs> he got to lose some weight to retire. It's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? They're just stuff that we would have saw. Like, my boy was out there slothing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like literally out there slothing. Like, set, hike. Like my baby, like my son, I got my like yo look, my 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 four year old. When he fall, he fall in sections. It's the funniest thing in the world, right? Like say my my big my my oldest son will push him, right? He'll push him in the head, push him, ugh. And then my son will fall, he'll break it. Let's he'll, first he gonna fall right here, blue. Then he gonna fall right here, blue. Then he gonna blue, 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 blue. <laughs> it feel like a when my son fall, feel like a demolition project. You know what I'm saying? Like you ever seen a demolition project? Be like blue, 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 blue. That's how my son, that's how he fall. He be like, uh, uh, uh. That's how Don Terry Poe block. No, in the middle of the block, he be like, you got it? Oh, you got it? All right, you got it. He got it. He said he got it. You know what I'm saying? If we would have seen some of that, if we would have seen some of that, we would have known that this stuff wouldn't work. But guess what? Just the fact that we're going to have preseason games this year, the fact that we're going to have preseason games, y'all. Hey, y'all, we 700 stars away from hitting our next goal. 700 stars away from hitting our next goal. 700 stars. Guess what? We need that. Hey, a lot of you guys have been asking me about Jeff Heath. Listen, we're going to do a drill. Whenever y'all ask me to talk about exes, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say her name because I know my baby mama absolutely hate my guts. So I know for a fact she's Eagle fan in right now. There's no way my baby mama's watching my show. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Mark, and I don't know, she, you know what I mean? I got custody of our daughter. You know how I have, you know what I'm saying? I be putting too much of my business out there in the streets anyway, but you know how I be, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to say this, man. I'm going to say this. This is what I got to think about Jeff Heath, right? All right. I'm just going to say her first name. West Coast, would you hire Michelle? To clean your house. Hell no. Hell no. But what if she's changed? No, I'm cool. But what if she's cheaper than the girl that you're, you're paying now? I'm cool. I like paying her more. It's something about paying her more. All right. So let's do this visual episode, right? I want everybody, unless you want, if your current is watching, don't do this because you're going to get messed up and y'all know your mouthpiece ain't as smooth as mine. So don't do it. You know what I'm saying? If you can't say your ex's name without accidentally repeating it in front of your current, don't do this exercise because you're going to get in trouble and then you're going to stop supporting me because your, your, your current going to be all mad at me because y'all know y'all going to blame it on me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, West Coast. You West West Coast, the one that said it. You know what I'm saying? All right, that's what I want y'all to do. I want you guys to type your ex's name. If you just want to put her initials, you put her initials. I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Put her initials in the comment box. And then I'm going to ask you that same question. You know what I'm saying? You wanted to come clean some toilets? Little baby, little baby, what's up, man? I got this great employee over here. 
Uh, she says she knows you very well. Her name is Nashai, I think it is. Uh, she wants to know, uh, what's up, man? She wants to come to the house, you know, every day, clean the house for you, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? He said, you the homie, you got to take the blame, fam. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, put your, but put your, put your, put your, put your, put your ex in there. Put that name in there. Alfredo, you hiring Jackie? Slugger catcher, you 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 hiring Latrice? M Solo, you hiring Ashley? Hey M Solo, I got this girl that I got this I got this. Hey M Solo, I got this I got this application in front of me, right? Where you you know M Solo, she want to come down to work at the job. She says she's a good employee. You know what I'm saying? She says she's a good employee. She says she gon she says she gon she gon she gon do it. She gon bag the groceries. She going to bag them groceries like ain't nobody ever bagged them groceries before. I want to know, M. So, we want to bring her in for, you know, bring her in for a little interview. You know what I'm talking about? We want you to trade her. What's up, a sneaker king? You bringing in Allison? Timberlake, you bringing in, you bringing in Tanya? You know what I'm saying? Sean, what's up? Hey, Sean, come on, Sean. We got to hire a girl named Joy. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Al, what's up? Can we bring Holly? I got Holly. I got Holly over here. Tanner, he said Big Booty Judy. You know what I'm saying? Marshall, I got HT over here. You can tell the ones that really hate their exes. They didn't even take a chance to put their name in there. Said Moist Coast, I don't give a damn. I'm going to put her initial. <laughs> hey, just know I be going through it too. Just know I be going through it too. I got custody of my kids though. I don't play that. No, sir. Hey, man, I'm going to tell you, man. The biggest fight I ever fight in my life was custody for my daughter, man. And I'm going to tell you, man, same way I attacked life is the same way I ran the damn ball on her, fam. Let me tell you, bro, I was broke back in the day. I ain't had no money. She come in there because they was rich. You know what I'm saying? My, my baby mom and her parents is rich. You know, they got bread. And so uh, they come in there with the little eight. They, you know, they, you know they're, 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 they're Asians. And um, they come in there. They got the attorney. You know what I'm saying he got the he got the suit. He got the seer sucker suit on. And he got the he got the wing tips. You know what I'm saying he all he ooh ooh. You know what I'm saying. And I'm just sitting there like I'm sitting there right, sitting there right. And then my mom tapped me. You know what I'm saying. My mom, my mom, a prayer warrior. My mom, she prayed. She said, you know, we prayed no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You know what I'm saying. We prayed real quick, right? Funniest story in the world, right? We sitting in the courtroom, right? This dude walks in there with some what a thousand dollar suit on, with a guy with some damn Velcro blacks. You know them, you know them shoes they get from uh, from Walmart with the Velcro on them, with the Velcro, you know, with the big Velcro things on them. Boy, I looked at that dude's shoes. I said, man, I'm about to tear this dude apart, man. We gave him hell, and my daughter been living with me for the last six years. You know what I'm saying? I saw that dude's shoes. I said, bro, there's no way I'm losing my child to a dude wearing them shoes. Hell no. <laughs> he don't even care about his feet. You know what I'm saying? He don't even care about his feet, bro. I got way more to lose. <laughs> yeah, I'm in here fighting for my life. You in here, you, you don't even care about your feet being comfortable. Man, I we destroyed that dude, bro. And I walked out of court with my my wife, my daughter lived with me to this day. To this day. Yeah, you mean we ran the ball on them boys. Me and my mama. No, no attorney. Cause I, I couldn't afford one, I ain't gonna lie. Uh yeah, what's some yeah, what boy came in there with the air with the with the Air Max? What are those with the double chin strap? Sneaker King, come on, bruh. Sneaker King, like for real. If I told you I lost to a dude with some double straps, come on, bruh. Come on, family. Y'all wouldn't even, y'all wouldn't even look at me the same. Y'all know y'all wouldn't be looking at me the same, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Y'all knew y'all wouldn't be looking at me the same. But yeah, long story short, Jeff Heath, yeah, bruh. I mean, if you down to bring your ex back. You know what I'm saying? And see the difference between Antoine Woods, there's not a difference between Antoine. There's a difference between Antoine Woods is this. We was in a happy relationship, but at the, the difference between Heath is that relationship wasn't happy. Like, I believe that the Dallas Cowboys are definitely, 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 they have a lot of love for Antoine Woods. Just because of the way he plays, when he plays. And then think about this last year. Freaking J um, um, Juju smith schuster danced on every logo last year except for who's? Juju smith schuster danced on everybody's logo last year except for who? Bro, they weren't even the prosthetic diabetic shoes, bro. Them was the night the 1499s, bro. The 1499s, the air, what are those, bro? 
they weren't even like the sport edition because you know the sport edition got the double strap you know what i mean got the strap when he got the ooh hop you know what i'm saying these was the air what are those i'm like no way not today my life is not about to be altered by a dude wearing some 14 dollars shoes you better come harder than that you know what i'm saying i got way more to lose bro we gave that dude a business bro gave him the business you know what i'm saying hey don't forget Top Scar Giver is going home with an autograph. I just forgot to talk about this. You know what I'm saying? Hey, for all y'all folks that know y'all beat somebody up over this Cowboy stuff, know this, that Antoine Woods was really about that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, don't forget, Top Scar Giver's going home with it. Just my way of saying I appreciate you. For my boy, Jalen Smith. So make sure you guys hit that star button. He said that man low-key wanted you to win. <laughs> nah, for the money they was paying for him, they was he won, he was going for the dub. But you know what I'm saying? He was going for the dub. He says, not in the house, make sure he didn't get near the star. You already know. You absolutely didn't. You absolutely, you absolutely know he didn't. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my boy says that I gotta get a Antoine. Well, you already know. He said, air, in the air, what are those? That's what they was, man. This dude had them double strap orthopedics, man. Hey, if you rocking them, I ain't tripping. Just don't try to come up here in court trying to take somebody's kids with them on. Them is not the shoes you need to have on. You better have some steel toe boots on. Because I was prepared to get grimy. I didn't care. You're like, when kids is involved, we, we don't fight fair. You know what I'm saying? My boy, all right, so let's get back to it. He says, honestly, as long as the defense can stop the run, I'm happy and pleased and block Verzeek. I mean, this is the thing, like, like, I think that's the goal in life anyway. You know what I'm saying? But it's about how you get there. And I don't want the Cowboys assuming that a bunch of rookies and guys who couldn't do it last year can do it this year. Because this is the thing. With taking Antoine Woods off this defensive rotation, you did not get better. So I don't want anybody, whenever stuff like this happens, Cowboys start selling themselves wolf tickets. Like, I'm just being real. Like, you guys will literally start selling your own self-wolf tickets. I gotta open this thing. Ah, I knew I shouldn't open the door. Like, you guys will literally start selling your own wolf tickets. Just like as soon as LVE didn't get his fifth-year option, Jabril Cox automatically became his replacement. Like, you guys honestly think the Cowboys drafted a guy in the fourth round to place a guy in the first round? And if they did, don't you think that's kind of dumb? You know what I'm saying? Woods was a starter, though. I don't know. It, like, there's a lot of folks showing their intelligence. Woods was a starter. What are you talking about? He was a starter for your defense last year. Yes, he was. We run a we ran a four three last year. We had th four defensive line. We had D Law, and we had uh, Everson Griffin's on the other side. You had Antoine Woods. You had Tristan Hill. Before Tristan Hill, you had Antoine Woods. You had Don Terry Poe, uh, and then before Don Terry Poe, you had Antoine Woods and Gerald McCoy. All four of those guys didn't even make it. Savion Smith, bro, nah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I care about. I know you guys keep saying his name over and over and over, but nah. You know what I'm saying? Um, he says that's like keeping it. Okay. Hey, if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that share button, hit that star button. We're about 800 stars away from here in our next goal. Did we bring back McCoy? No, and I hope we don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, we need to go younger. We need to go younger and bigger. And the thing that this is the thing too, man. Like, the Cowboys drafted, and I don't want to hear nothing about size because if you go look at the draft, we drafted guys who were smaller than Antoine Woods to play the same position. My boy says, I think the combo of picks and free agent has improved. No, you're not. You think that because you're a Cowboy fan. You think that because you're a Cowboy fan. You didn't even know the guys we picked, so stop it. Like, stop selling yourself, Cowboy fans. This, this is the thing. Cowboy fans want to feel so secure in something so fast that you guys are not okay with waiting until these dudes actually just play. That's why you hear, start hearing, all, I think the Cowboys got better because, man, you don't think nothing. 
You haven't even seen these guys play. We're the exact same team we were last year until you actually see these guys play. Like, bro, you go out on one date and you already trying to marry her, bro. Come on, man. Calm down, bro. Like, calm down. Every single year, y'all falling in love. Every single year. Make these dudes earn it, bro. I think we're going to be okay. No, you not. You don't even know. We brought in three free agents that you do not know. If I asked you right now, who the three agents we, who the three D tackles we brought in, you have to Google them. I promise you. Because I'm trying to think about them right now, and I'm like, damn, we brought in Urban, we brought in Basham, but that other guy, I can't remember his name for the life of me. Like, how do you lose Alden Smith and take off and take off Antoine Woods? And we're supposed to be having a better defense. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen to me. Your opinions suck. That's why I'm trashing them. Like, if you were a doc, if you are not a doctor, you don't get to go to a doctor's conference and be like, yo, this is my opinion. Bro, don't nobody give a damn about your opinion. <laughs> like, nobody cares about your opinion. So that's why I don't even really care about them. If you in the doctor's office, nobody cares what you think. The doctor's going to listen and say, okay, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just the guy in America, one of the few people in America that's going to tell you. Your opinion doesn't matter. But like, in America, everybody feels that their opinion should be heard, and everybody no, you should not. Like, your opinion should not be heard. You know what I'm saying? If you're sitting in a doctor's office, they're not hearing your opinion. You're at the mechanic's office. They're not hearing your opinion. When you go to go buy some fast food and they're preparing your food, you know what they're going to do? They're going to make it your way, but they're using their ingredients. You're not going to go in the kitchen and say, hey, my opinion is your, your, your ground beef is a little salty that you can take it. No. Go to a different restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, that's not how it works. You can go live if you want your opinion heard, though, and valued. Keep it real. Um... He said mechanics screw people all the time. I don't know mechanics that screw people. So I don't know. I can't I can't verify that. Maybe the mechanics you know, but I don't know a, a group of mechanics that's just screwing people over. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that there is this thing called the Better Business Bureau, and they kind of make sure that does, doesn't happen. You know what I'm saying? But if you're going to Shade Tree Mechanics, if you're going to do the like, now you say you got to do what? Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 be like, be like this. Now you now you say you got to go to alternator. You need a new alternator. You say you need a little alternator. New alternator. It be like this. You need a little alternator. That's what it is. You need a little, this is what I'm going to tell you, man. You need to get a little alternator. You need to get some more juice in your blinkers. You need some more of that, that more, more of that blue, that, uh, you need some more of that, uh, that, that, uh, that blinker fluid. You know what I'm saying? Get around that blinker fluid. This one, I'm going to I'm, 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 I'm go around down there to uh, Tyrone house. I'm going on to Tyrone house. Tyrone gonna give me the alternator. He said he's gonna give it to me like $40. You know what I mean? I'm gonna bring it back down here. This is what I want to do, man. I want to give me a box of cigarettes and a, 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 a sandwich, and I'm, I'm gonna knock it out for you. I'll change the oil for you, too. You gonna throw a hot pocket in there? All right, throw a hot pocket in there. I'll, tell, I'll change the oil, too. You go to that mechanic? Yes, yes, yes. There's a chance that you might, you might get some bad service. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, you go to that mechanic, I do feel that there is a chance that you might get burned. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you, Curtis. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you. Uh, yeah, I, Carlos Watkins. Appreciate you. Carlos Watkins. But you guys see what I'm saying? Like, you honestly think the Cowboys would move away from their best defensive tackle currently on the roster for a bunch of guys they don't know who can play? With the history of what happened last year? I don't believe so. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe so. All right, man. Hey, we 600 stars away from hitting our next goal. Somebody hit that 600 star. We're going to answer some old questions, man. How long we been on here? Somebody tell me how long I've been on here. He said, they be, he, say, he says, them be the best mechanics. See? We, hey, hey, you know? Them shave tree. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh... 
West Coast, you need that say that saying, hell yeah. He says you need that hat that said hell you mean. I know. What are my thoughts on uh what are my thoughts on Keanu Neal playing linebacker? This is my thing, bruh. Uh I wanna just wait and see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause they can talk all this crap right now. They can say all this stuff right now. But like when the game is actually on, that's when we really gonna know what he's gonna play. Like, I'm gonna be at training camp every single day, so I'm gonna just wait and see what he's doing at training camp. I know there's some people that wanna like cut cut up and freaking, you know, talk about every but I you know, I'ma just wait. I'm gonna wait till training camp. I'm gonna be at training camp, so I'm gonna just wait. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't believe me personally, I don't believe that he's gonna be a full time linebacker. I don't believe it. But I'm gonna reserve my judgment until I get there. Uh, he said, "Well, Wood still be in Bakersfield? Hell yeah." Uh, my boy said he won Neil at safety. I won Neil at his best position. You know what I'm saying, whatever position that he can excel at, that's the position I want him to play. He's on a five year. He's on a one year, five million dollar deal. So, you know, if he's gonna play linebacker, man, he cannot make this team. Keep it real. Like how are you gonna, if Keanu Neal is playing 100% linebacker and not safety, bro, he could not make this team. Now, if he's going to play some safety, yeah, he got action. But Keanu Neal is not a better linebacker than Jalen Smith, LVE, Micah Parsons, Jabril Cox, or freaking Francis Bernard. Like, I don't, I don't believe he's a better linebacker than any of those dudes. So if he's coming into this camp saying that he's about to be the fifth linebacker bruh, or the fourth, bro, nobody's paying you five million dollars to be the fourth linebacker. At five million dollars, you're gonna be starting something. You know what I'm saying? But you also gotta remember the Cowboys said that we're gonna be switching to a three-four base. What I honestly think is what I've what I've always said about defenses: your defense doesn't need to have a base. Your defense needs to revolve around the offenses that you're playing. Appreciate you, Roman. Like, in my opinion, you shouldn't have a, a base defense. Like, when I coached this year, these six-year-olds, I had I tried to do a, have a base defense. You know what it did? We was getting killed. We was getting killed, ran all over the place. You know what I did? Every single play I adjusted. You know what I'm saying? You know what happened? We didn't, didn't mean we won a whole bunch of games because we still couldn't score. <laughs> but we won our last game. We won the tournament, though. Funny story, man. We lost. I won my, fir my first year of being a head coach. I won my first game, lost five straight games, then won the tournament. I don't know. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. They came to play. That final day, my boys came to play, though. <coughs> but uh, will Israel start at safety? Who is Israel? Who is Israel? Are we really talking about a, a rookie? Who is Israel? Roman, appreciate you for the 1,200 stars. How do I feel about Jeff Heath? How do you feel about your ex? How do you feel about your ex? That's what I want to know. He says, hey, if you make it to the party, then we can dance. Uh, Not necessarily. you got to get in the door. Ryle, appreciate you with the 1,000 stars. Hell no, man. If you were, I, I was being facetious when you asked me about who was he. Like, are you really kidding me about, like, a late-round guy starting in the NFL? Like, are we really asking those types of questions? Auntie Charlene, what's up? She said, I like Harleen, but my fellow Cowboy fans said it's hard to defend my D-tackles release when you were 31st in the run game. But this is the thing, right? Antoine Woods didn't even play every game, and we got to stop blaming. Like, you guys, we have, like, this blame dad complex, right? Like, when the defense, 11 players play well, play bad, we find one person to blame, like Antoine Woods. The reason we were 31st was because Antoine Woods. No, I think we were 31st because John Terry Poe sucked. Gerald McCoy got hurt. Tristan Hill got hurt. And Hamilton was an undrafted free agent. I think that had more to do with anything. You know what I'm saying? But you see how fans, well, I'm not saying unto you, Charlene, because you said fans. You know what I'm saying? And then my question is this, how was, how was, how was, how was one person like you run a four, three, that means you need two defensive tackles. 
Like, we cannot bl- be in this. We about to blame an undersized defensive tackle to stop the entire run. Like, that is a team effort. Like, there's a reason why the defensive coordinator and defensive line coach were fired, y'all. You know what I'm saying? He said they let Poe start over Woods. They did, and I was 100% against that, and I told you guys that. I told you guys, I said, bro, Antoine Woods is better than Don Terry Poe. No, he's not. Don Terry Poe is 350 pounds, blah, 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 blah. I told y'all that. RTDB hats, you got to be over 2,500 stars. He says, bro, no offense, but don't roast, bro. Slap yourself. How about that? How about you don't fall in love with late round picks? I mean, my thing is this. Unless you know the, like, don't don't be roasting. Like, no, fam, welcome to the NFL. Don't be mad because you just decided to pay attention to football this year and you don't know how things work. Like, slap yourself. I hate those people that try to compare. Yeah, Tom Brady. Yes. And there's only been one Tom Brady. But there's been three million late round picks who did not end up like Tom Brady. So take your faith and go sit down somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You probably have faith that believe we're going to win the Super Bowl every single year too. How far has that gotten us? And remember, you're talking to a Cowboy fan. Man, I love faith, but I, I have faith in Jesus, not in the Cowboys. The Cowboys got to show me something. Hell, you mean? The only person I got faith in is Jesus because he's consistently done with his job. Jerry Jones has not. He got to show it to me now. I got faith in Jerry. Yeah, you're right. I got faith. He's going to lie to my face. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn how long you've been a Cowboy fan. I don't give a damn. I've been black all my life. Don't mean I know every black person in the world. Slap yourself. That, that logic makes no sense. I've been a Cowboy fan since 1971. I've been black since 1982. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ah, slap yourself. I don't know every black person in America. <laughs> Like being something for how long does not dictate you knowing something. You know what I'm saying? I hate people. I've been in school for 20 years. That don't mean you smart. You know what I'm saying? That just means you chose to be there. And let's just get something straight, right? How much you know cowboys and how much you know footballs, two different subjects. Just because you're a food taster don't mean you know how to cook. Can I get an amen? Like, you feel what I'm saying? For my Some Cowboy fans going to get that. Just because you know, just because you're a, a food taster don't mean you're a really good cook. You know what I'm saying? What does that mean? Like, I've been a fan since 1971. So, congratulations. You were born in 1960. I was born in 1982. Now, you're going to say it's my fault I wasn't born before you was born before me? No, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Absolutely anything. I hate fans. We got to kill that. I don't care how long you've been a fan. Congratulations. You were born before me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you were a fan longer than me because you were born before me. Like, don't let nobody hold that over. I've been a fan since 19. So what? Guess what? You were a fan when it was easy to be the Cowboy fan. You want to know why? Because they won five freaking Super Bowl. It's harder to be a Cowboy fan today than it ever was in 1980, 1990. Bro, they was winning Super Bowls. They were really America's team. Like, I, I got mad love for all the parents raising their kids in, like, Kansas City and, like, Baltimore and, like, Tampa Bay where they got good teams and you telling your kids every day, hell no, you is not wearing a little Lamar Jackson jersey. You a Cowboys fan. But, Mama, they ain't won nothing in 25 years. I don't give a damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's hard to be a fan today. It was easy to be a fan in the 70s when they was winning stuff. Everybody was a fan. Be a bang, tell me how tell me how you bang in the streets right now today. Send me a picture of you after we lost to the damn Pittsburgh Steelers and, and we went on that bye for two weeks. Send me some pictures of you still repping the star. That's what I care about. I give a damn about what you did when the Cowboys was winning Super Bowls. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I don't really trip on bandwagoners. Because we all bandwagoners. Bro, in the 90s, there was this team, blue and silver, whipping everybody's butt. And I was like, bro, I'm trying to rock with them. 
You know what I'm saying? And I jumped on the bandwagon. And I've been riding ever since. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody tripping. As long as when you get down, you stay down. That's the only thing that matters. You know what I'm saying? I might give a damn how long you've been a Cowboy fan. My boy Lil Baby, only 19. He watched my show every single day, bruh. You gonna tell me you a bigger fan than this dude? And I recognize him. I'm not saying I don't recognize you, but I recognize him. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? They like my boy 19. He be on my show every single day. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He, you, you, what is his fault? He was born a couple years ago. You know what I mean? Hey, y'all already know how I get down on my shows, man. I love all Cowboy fans, and I hate all Eagles fans. I can't stand that. They eat them shit eaters. I can't stand none of them Eagles fans, man. None of them, man. I hate Eagles fans. He says, did you like the pick for Micah Parsons? I liked it, the pick for Micah Parsons, because he was the best defensive linebacker on the board. That's what I like about it. Now it has to match straight. You know what I'm saying? Listen, bro, don't tell me you know so much about football. Go create a page and teach someone. Bro, nobody cares. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to tell people you know a lot about football. You know what I'm saying? You can just talk and we'll know that. Like, there's some statements that you'll never have to say. Like, you never hear me have to say that because I talk enough that you'll recognize that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you always got to tell someone you know something or good, you're probably not because you're probably saying that to confirm yourself. If you know a lot about football, go start a page. What you watching me for? You know what I'm saying? And knowing a lot of football and you've seen a lot of football is two different things, fam. Knowing a lot of football is this. When you say stuff like, oh, the cow, the 49ers are going to run a wide nine. And if someone hits it correctly, they're going to get a big run on it. I made a video on that. And you know what happened? Tony Prowler got a 42-yard run on a wide nine. You know what I'm saying? That's knowing a lot about football to me. I told you guys that the Dallas Cowboys would not draft at pick 10 no matter what because they didn't want to pay a player at pick 10. You know what they did? They traded back. You know what I'm saying? Cap, you guys will say, yeah, but they just traded back because the corners weren't there. Uh, well, let's see it like this. If they wanted the corner so bad, wouldn't they have just traded up? Uh-huh. I mean, it was only two spots. The Cowboys went reverse. You know what I'm saying? Remember, I'm the same guy that told you Cowboys should trade Byron Jones. Same guy that told you Byron, Cowboys should trade uh, Cole Beasley. This is all stuff I made videos on. I'm the same guy that made nine videos about Donovan Wilson starting. Nine. 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 N-I-N-E. -E, nine videos. My boys, oh my God. Oh my God. I am dead. Jihad, I am dead, but I am alive. I'm dead. I'm dead, Jihad. My boy, Jihad, just had the comment of the freaking year. I am dead. I almost got to put my helmet on. I might put my helmet on for this. This fool said, and I say that, and I mean this in the best way. This boy said, this boy said, he says, Cowboys haven't won anything in my whole life. I felt like I'm 20. I feel like I'm 23. Wow. Hey, man, don't be talking about my mama like that. <laughs> you know, I like say something about you and it'd be so true. You can't, you ain't even got to come back. Hey, man, don't be talking about me like that. <laughs> you ain't even got to come back. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it hit, that, 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 that hit way too close to home. <laughs> like, damn. Hey, don't say that, man. Don't do me like that. <laughs> yeah, he said he felt like he's 23. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't make me feel like that. My heart hurt when I say stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what am I smoking on? I am smoking on nothing but the best, which is Source Cannabis. Um, that is my official sponsor. You know what I'm saying? Um, they take care of me. Salute to them, Source Cannabis, if you want to know about them. They do not. Um, well, I'll just put it like this. Go on Instagram. You can find all their products. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But yes, source cannabis, man. I own that's you know, I smoke one trend. But I got a legal dispensary out here in Southern California. So if you're ever in Southern California and you want to grab some marijuana, hit your boy in West Coast. Because I have a legal, legal dispensary. You want to know why? Because marijuana's been legal for 50 forever out here. That's why. Jay-Z sell weed, Mike Tyson sell weed, Ellen DeGeneres sell weed. So don't get mad at West Coast for selling weed. Um, born and raised in Dallas, Texas. That's what's up. 
So when y'all come out here for California Cowboys versus Chargers, you already know what it is. I'm having the biggest, I'm literally for Cowboys versus Chargers, I'm renting the biggest room I can get and we just gonna have a huge smoke session. We gonna smoke that mug out, like for real. All my Texas folks that, you know what I mean? Like for real. Like we gonna have the biggest smoking session for Cowboys versus uh, Cowboys versus uh, Chargers. Like I'm having a huge smoke session. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's all good, Charles. You know, I, you know, I got him up out of here. A lot of times we have men that want to get attention. Like when not, not I got to stop. I don't want to listen to me. When I say like men acting like women, I don't want women to feel like I'm like putting you down or anything like that, because I'm going to tell you like this, the women cowboy fans are by far some of the smartest cowboy fans in our nation. Like just being real with you. New Way Plumbing, he says, got my gloves. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you, New Way. Don't go wearing them, bro. Please don't wear those if you do. Just don't wear them around West Coast because it was hard to let them go. I ain't going to lie. I wanted those. I wanted them gloves. Hey, shout out to my boy, New Way Plumbing. Remember, my guy, New Way Plumbing, he specializes in piss and shit. He is out there in the Long Beach area. If you get a Eagles fan stuck in your toilet, if you eat some beans the night before and you go to the bathroom and you accidentally push out an Eagles fan, because you know they shit, you know what I'm saying? You push out an Eagles fan, right? You do that. That Eagles fan gets stuck in your toilet. Do not reach, do not use your beautiful cowboy's hand to pull that Eagles fan out your toilet. Don't do it. What you want to do is you want to call my brother over at New Way Plumbing. They specialize in piss and shit. Eagles fans. He will come over. He has what's called an Eagle fan detractor. You know what I'm saying? It's a machine. He puts it over the toilet. It grabs the Eagles fan by the ankles and pulls them out of your toilet. By essence, releasing all the other piss and shit down the toilet. You know what I'm saying? It's a great, it's a phenomenal procedure he has. He's patented. It. It's great. It's, it's, I mean, it's it's phenomenal. It's so good. A couple Eagles fans even tried to eat the shit. You know what I'm saying? We told them we don't do that. We don't support that. But if you guys want to do that, hey, we're all, you know, do what you want to do. But like I said, if you get an Eagles fan stuck in your toilet, if you get an Eagles fan stuck in your toilet, do not use your beautiful cowboy hand to pull that out. Hit up my guy over at New Way Plumbing. He has a special machine that pulls piss and shit, a.k.a. Eagles fans, out of your toilet. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing how they're able to like, cause you know, uh, uh, you know the 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 pipe be it uh, like I've literally seen. It's it's amazing how they're able to shape their bodies to fit actually in the toilet. Like it's amazing how they're able to do that. You know what I'm saying? Eagles fans are actually very talented. They are they are actually they are very talented. I will say that. You know what I'm saying? They are they are very talented. You know what I'm saying? Some of the things that they're able to do, um, you know, eating shit and and uh, fitting in toilets. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like it's, 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 uh, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's amazing the things that they're able to pull off. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but you guys, we are, we are, we are 1,700 stars away from hitting our last goal of the day. Don't forget, top star giver will be going home with an autographed Jalen Smith picture. If you guys want to have proof, West Coast don't be sending that stuff out. Yeah, dude, because my boy right there, New Way Plumbing, just told you he got his Zeke gloves, them Zeke game day gloves that I gave away at the draft. He got them today. He got them today in the mail. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got something you want, it's simply because I, 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 because I haven't gotten it in. That's it. The RTDB hats, I ran out. I will be getting more RTDB hats this week. I already, they're already printed. I just got to wait for them to get printed. You know what I'm saying? So those will be done. But everybody that went, everybody that sends over 2,500 stars, you know, you go home with an RTDB hat. And then as soon as I get them, I just send them out. This time I bet I, I bought 48 hats too because I be buying 24 and they go fast. Like I go through 24 RTV hats in literally a week. And that's because of y'all, man. I tell y'all, the first time I'm at a game and I see an RTDB hat, whether it's counterfeit or whether it's a hat that I actually sent out, I'ma cry. So just prepare for a moment. If you don't want a black man to run up on you and jump on you and freaking and 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 grab you and I ain't gonna kiss you, I ain't gonna do that because my son say that you can't do that no more. My son my son, my son's is weird, man. He four, he four year old talking about his mama can kiss him, but I can't kiss him because my kisses be wet. 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's crazy. He's crazy and catfish, man. But anyway, man, if you don't want a, a, a black man to run up and jump on you hysterically and starts crying on the scene and holding you and just thanking you for supporting me because you ain't have to, I'm telling you right now, don't get caught wearing an RTDB hat in public because if you do, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to have a moment and just let me have my moment and promise you I will tell security that we family and everything's fine. You know what I'm saying? I won't do nothing to make us both look weird. But I'm telling you guys, the first time I am in public and I see somebody wearing an RTDB hat, whether you got it from West Coast or whether you got it from DH Gate, I ain't tripping. I am going to go crazy, man. So I just want to let y'all know I appreciate y'all. Uh, who is my favorite cowboy of all time? Des Bryant. Very easy. Um, who is my second favorite cow uh, cowboy of all time? Michael Irvin. But Des Bryant. I went through more stuff with Dez. You know what I'm saying? Dez was my guy I went through as an adult. You know what I'm saying? As a child, it was Michael Irvin. I just went from 188. Right now, it's really still, honestly, like, it's, I don't know, man. It's hard having a favorite player at this juncture just because it's like there's so many players I rock with. You know what I'm saying? My favorite player right now, I would probably say, probably Zeke. You know what I'm saying? Like, probably Zeke. But man, I'ma just like I love Dez because Dez just re he just reminds me of me, bro. Like, like he just reminds me of just like doing impossible odds and stuff like that, bro. Like, I was in I worked in sales, bro, and telecommunication, bro. And there was some times where like sales was not there, and we had to literally like do what Dez do and just jump over people and just grab the ball and score and forcefully score touchdowns. And I just love that mind that mindset and that mentality. You know what I'm saying? So I like Dez. I have to say Dez. Growing up, Michael Irvin. Michael Irvin. De Zeke didn't put up a good amount of numbers. Yes, he did. Before you go blaming Ezekiel Elliott, blame the people that are in front of him. Like, we got to we gotta at least pretend like we know football. Like, if you say stuff like Zeke didn't do, man, you are 100% uh, admitting that you don't know football. Like, Zeke also had 14 different starting offensive lines, bruh. Like, I want to know someone who has that offensive line and what they achieve. And let's just be real. Zeke has never really had good numbers because he only gets the ball 13 times a game. No, I actually played corner. Ah. Am I going to the Hall of Fame game? Yes, I am. I am going to the Hall of Fame game. Like, I am going to the Hall of Fame game. I'm going to the Hall of Fame game. It's going to be stupid, dumb, cracking. I'm going to the Hall of Fame game. And also, I am planning an event for week one. Um, as soon as the schedule comes out, I will be letting you guys know. But I 2021, I am throwing my own player events, man. You know what I'm saying? All my life, I've been pubbing everybody else's event and helping people put people in, they, in other people's events, man. Starting 2021, man, I'm about to start throwing my own West Coast events, man. West Coast, West Coast Cowboy Takeovers, man. And that's just going to be um, I'm, I'm my first one. I'm planning to be week one. I already got a couple players in mind that I'm going to reach out to and talk to, man. And when this happens, I just need y'all to support, fam. That's all I need y'all to do. Come out, have a good time. And uh, if you're going to week one, you need to let me know. Because y'all know the, C the, the, the schedule comes out on the 12th. Hey, man, that's what's up. You love Witten? That's what's up. Witten... One thing I like, I met Jason Witten a few times, and one thing I will say about Jason Witten is he is exactly the person, or at least for the moments that I met him, he's exactly the type of person that that he is on the field, like a very inspiring person. You know what I'm saying? Him and Sean Lee. Like, Sean Lee, he was like, West Coast, I appreciate you. I'm like, what? Man, what the hell you mean? You don't even know me. Would I sign Melvin Ingram? Yes, but I thought he already got signed. I thought Melvin Ingram already got signed. Charlene said he's going to miss you, uh, Joe, once you get out of Facebook jail. Hey, for all y'all folks that's watching on YouTube and on Instagram because y'all in the pinta, you already know what we believe in. We don't believe in not, you know, if somebody had to get slapped, they got to get slapped. But all I'm saying is stop posting that type of stuff. If you want to bang on somebody on Facebook, you got to end, you got to call them. You know what I'm saying? Hit that call. And I'm going to tell you, half the time when you try to call somebody on Facebook, they ain't going to answer. And after they don't answer, it's going to admit that they some, Ugh, and you ain't going to want to tell them anyway. That's what I do. 
All right, Instagram, they about to get up out of here. The Instagram, they about to get up out of here. Appreciate you, Instagram. I will be live later on tonight. Later on, today's Wednesday. I ain't got nothing to do. I'll be live later on tonight. I'm about to get up out of here. You already know, top star giver for this show is going home with this right here. So let me tell you who got it. Hey, my boy Mark A. Smith. My boy Mark A. Smith. He actually won by 600 stars. My boy Mark A. Smith is getting this autographed CEV picture from Jalen Smith. Signed by Jalen Smith. Hashtag CEV. Also, if you want your pair of CVs, I need you to go over to CEVcollection.com. Use password uh, CEV West Coast and uh, get you a, a discount on, the, on these glasses. But, yo, my dog, my dog, uh, my dog, my boy, Mark A. Smith, who won by literally 600 stars. Inbox me, my guy. Inbox me, my guy. So I can send you your picture out, my dog. Hey, if you want to win more stuff, you want to have a good, a good, if you want to have a good, a good time later on tonight, I'll be up and rolling later on. You guys know I represent for the fanatics fans, the fans who still believe that we can fanatically be in love with our team still. And you guys already know what it is. Never look down because the star is up. Peace.